Hello and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and what I'm going to show you in this is a method to improve your viewport navigation through a couple of user preferences settings. Now normally when you're zooming in and out within the viewport everything zooms uniformly such that regardless of where my mouse is when I zoom in it just zooms in towards the center of the grid or more accurately the center of the viewport such that if I were to move my view around like this it's still going to zoom directly to the center right here. Well, this is fine for the mass majority of cases, but every now and then, if you're working on a very complex or a large model, and you're constantly moving around the model, sometimes this can become a bit haphazard, as you'll zoom into a model, lose track of where you're trying to go, and then have to quickly pan around to find your view once more. Well, there's a setting that allows us to improve this very easily. If we just go to the File menu and User Preferences, underneath the Interface tab, there's this option through the View Manipulation to Zoom to Mouse Position. And if we just check this and go back to the regular viewport, we'll notice immediately what happens. And what happens is that as we zoom in and out, it zooms in or out based on the position of our mouse cursor. So if I wanted to quickly zoom in to, let's just real quick, I'll subdivide my cube a few times, and I wanted to quickly zoom into this corner to manipulate some things, I could just position my mouse cursor right there and zoom right in, or zoom out, grab this corner, and so on. So this is very, very helpful to quickly zoom into where you need very, very quickly. Now, there's one other option that also helps dramatically in keeping track of where you are in your viewport, and that is how you rotate around your view. Now, when we middle click and drag to rotate, when we're working on just a cube or at a decent uh, distance from the cube, it's not a problem just rotate around. But what if we zoomed in real close here and we're working on, say, these vertices right here, so we'll just say maybe grab those, and we rotate around, we immediately lose track of those vertices. Well, if we go back to the user preferences and underneath the interface, choose rotate around selection, you can check that and now it'll just rotate around the selection of your vertices rather than the entire viewport center as a whole. So this again also helps you keep track of where you are on, with your model and easily work on your, your active selection with relative ease and keep track of things much, much better.